In this video we're going to look at an exercise to help with canter trot canter transitions across the diagonal and this exercise is great if you've got a horse that anticipates the transition, if the horse goes onto the incorrect lead when you ask for the canter going in the other direction, it's really great to just get them to relax into this exercise. So we're going to come around a nice working canter, making sure you've got a nice easy contact and heading across the diagonal. And then all we're going to do is come back to trot and then immediately I'm going to circle to the left. So we've come off the right canter lead and then I'm going to circle to the left and you can see I've gone rising and then I'm going to pick up the canter again. And the circle helps to relax the horse into the trot. It also helps to set up to get the horse on the correct canter lead going in the other direction. So we're going to do it again. So we're coming across the diagonal nice and straight, back into the trot, and then circling away 10 meters, making sure you've got a nice bend to the right, the horse is in a nice forward rhythm, and then back into counter again. And you can see he's taking me forward in the counter. And so we're going to come again onto the diagonal line. So coming off the right lead, keeping a little bit of right flexion, Cross that diagonal line nice and straight, aiming for my end marker, bringing him back to trot, and then asking for the 10 meter circle to the left. And then as I come back round onto my diagonal line, I then ask for counter again. And it's important to stay on your diagonal line. Try not to deviate from the line that you've created, making sure the horse stays straight, keeping the flexion to the inside over the leading leg, so going this time I've gone a little bit further across the diagonal and you don't have to always do it at X, you can do it at any place across the diagonal. And again circling 10 meters to the right and then asking for canter. And it might take you a few times just to get the horse to relax, especially if they're anticipating the transition, they may try and predict it by going back into canter again. So it's important for you to stay relaxed in your seat and not tense up when you're doing this. So I've gone a bit further across the diagonal and this time I'm going to do a circle to the right, so I've come off the right lead, a circle to the right and then I'm going to change over and do a circle to the left. And it's all about mixing it up a little bit to make sure your horse is completely relaxed and actually waiting for your canter aid and listening to you. And then we go back into canter on the left lead and continue across the diagonal line. So I'm going to do that again across this diagonal. I'm going to go a little bit further across, so just past X, and I'm going to bring him back into trot. And make sure you leave yourself enough space so that when you're circling away, there's enough space to actually do the 10 metre circle. Don't suddenly think, oh, I've come too far, and oh, I have to circle him round really quickly. Everything about this should be nice and relaxed. And this time for the circles, I've also stayed in sitting trot. And it's important to vary it, so you do some in sitting, some in rising, so again the horse doesn't anticipate and stays relaxed through the trot across the middle. So this time I'm going to come back down to trot, and then I'm staying sitting again this time, and circling around, keeping a nice forward trot. The transitions themselves should be forward, they should not be thinking backwards. So it's taking out that tension and relaxation. And once you find your horse is more confident at this, then you can start asking for the canter trot transitions in a straight line, because you'll have plenty of time to set up. So we trot, change the bend to the right, and ask for canter to the right. And you can see he was much more relaxed. And sometimes take a few more trot strides. Don't just do one or two. Make sure you, the horse is waiting for your canter aid. So back into trot few strides forward, change the bend and then back into the left canter and hopefully this exercise will help sharpen up and improve those counter top counter changes of leg.